you come out, you're taking penalties, you're down three nothing in the first period, then you more or less flip the switch, you get some penalty luck yourself, you tie the game, you sort of settle in and play better, but then when it gets to four to four, you would think that the more desperate, more polished, more veteran team would show its stripes. They didn't. They went the other direction. David Perron scored like, what, 50% of the goals <laughs> he ever had in Pittsburgh in about five minutes. Uh, it was just a really disappointing effort to see. I'm not going to I'm not going to give them like the injury excuse here or anything else or that it's technically their backup goaltender. A team that should know better by now and should be able to marshal up a better effort against a bad opponent when they need one did anything but and really didn't appear interested in coming out of the gate and making it known that they were going to do that. Yeah, I, I agree, especially when they tied it 3-3. I thought at that point, okay, the Penguins know that they got back in this now. They could put it away, and they went the other direction. Uh, and now you have a team in Nashville that just beat Boston, and the Bruins don't make a habit of losing back-to-back -back games at all. They'll be here on Saturday, and then the Flyers on Sunday. Three games all at home, and I got to I gotta believe that if you look at the schedules here, you know, the, the, the Penguins all of a sudden look like they got a tough road to hoe, whereas – a team like Florida has Montreal, Buffalo, Ottawa, Washington, um, Montreal again. So it looks like Florida, one point behind now from 82 to 81, they have a chance to move ahead of them if the Penguins don't watch what they're doing. Yeah, they absolutely do. I mean, that was a game last night that the Penguins needed to not biff, and they biffed it. I mean, they just did. They played a bad team. They played a team with a goalie who spent most of the year in the AHL, and for a while they made them look like Dominic Hoshik out there. Uh, now they have to they have to sleep in the bed that they've made. They have to beat teams that are not as easy as that schedule you just laid out for the Panthers. I mean, hey, maybe the wake up call, Bob, will happen if the Penguins miss the playoffs. Then all their players will snap too collectively and go, well, all right, we really got to turn it on now as we head to the first tee at our local country clubs. <laughs> we'll see. Tomorrow the Preds come into town. They're playing well. Before we go to break, I saw the T-shirt you're wearing, and I think uh, it's appropriate to give you guys a big applause for what you did at 93.7 The Fan and all the Odyssey stations, the Feed the Need telethon was today, and you guys put up uh, a lot of uh, money and a lot of uh, dinners for people in need. Tell us about it. Yeah, this is something that's a big deal for us every year, the Feed the Need Radiothon. Uh, we're obviously just trying to raise as many meals as we can. Dollar puts three meals uh, out there, and we got over 330,000 meals, I think it was. So you can do the math on the dollar value there. Uh, just quickly, huge thank you to you, everybody that came on with me on the PM team, and from the Odyssey family, a big thank you to everybody that donated. There were people, individuals. Uh, corporate donors. Uh, it was a big success this year. We couldn't have done it without the community here. It was it was an awesome day. And I want to give a little shout out to to Brian Goulish, all the work he does too. Absolutely. At the Greater Pittsburgh Food Bank and all the people who have uh, decided to help. Not just in that, but in other things we do here on the TV side of it. It's very important to go out and help people in need. And, so, and certainly right now, there are a lot of people in need. So kudos to everyone there in the meantime we're going to take your phone calls now what do you think speaking about food for thought what about the penguins what do you think about them what do you think about the pirates tomorrow it begins the season chris we're going to delve into that we want your phone calls let us know what you think it's all coming up next right here live on pittsburgh cw and simulcast on 93.7 the fan